Well, welcome back there, YouTube world, to another episode of the Riggers Box at Cumberland Sales Company. I'm Matt, and I'm going to walk you through some hooks today. So mainly today, we're going to talk about odd type hooks and clevis type hooks. There's a multitude of different varieties of way these hooks will be used in the uh, field. And a lot of times they'll be used with wire rope, sometimes synthetic rope, sometimes chain. So first, we're gonna talk about the clevis hook. Mainly the clevis hook is always gonna be used with chain. And that typically is gonna be your grade 70 type chain or your grade 100 type. So there are other chains involved there, but mainly at Cumberland Sales, what we have found is mainly when it comes to using hooks that are clevis type hooks, you're typically either doing the grade 70 or you're doing the grade 100. There is grade 80 that is an option, but the grade 80 is just not as far, as seen as much in the industry mainly because grade 100 and grade 80 prices are about the same and grade 100 is a lot more stronger. So when we get into it, your typical one that maybe a lot of you've seen is your gold chain and your gold hooks. This is typically is a grade 70 chain known as a transport binder chain. See that the most basic thing used on trailers, flatbeds all around the market from, from quarter inch all the way up to typically half inch, sometimes a little bit bigger, but usually half inch and three eighths is the most common one you see. And typically you'll see this type chain with what's known as a grab hook, clevis grab hook, G70. This is though they can go back into the chain or they can hook it onto something in their trailer. Sometimes they'll have what's called a clevis slip hook. That's also grade 70 with the grade 70 chain. And they'll use that with a classic ratchet binder. So the ratchet binder and the grab and the grade 70 chains are the ones that are most typically you see used in that application. Now the next step up, which you can also see used with the ratchet binder, is going to the grade 100, which step your level up on those. And by the way, on our website, through our catalog, you can see the working loads with all the different size chains and, and the grades that you get moving to these different parts. And when it comes to the grade 100, one thing you do notice is that these are a lot beefier than these. So this is a half inch grade 100 clevis grab hook. This is a half inch clevis grab hook grade 70. And you'll notice too, this one actually has some ears on it. So the chain link can actually lay in that spot. And what that does is it helps strengthen for when you lift. Because when it comes down to grade 100 products, hooks and chain, that's used in the industry for lifting. Which is why on grade 100 products, We'll always tag a chain sling just like this. This is a clevis foundry hook to a clevis grab hook. And you see it's chain, and we'll always tag it for what the vertical pull will be so you'll know that. Anything under grade 80 chain, we will never tag because industry standard is you don't use those for lifting. So next thing I'm going to talk about is the swivel eye hook. Uh, this hook you will see a lot on, you know, your your crane, your your buckets for your excavators. Um, they love putting their on there with the eye that's on there, and they'll put a shackle to this hook, and it's a nice swivel hook that turns, that has a nice capacity to it, and you can hook anything up to that for for your lifting and picking from wire rope slings to nylon slings. Uh, the swivel eye hooks also come with a bearing on them. So if they're under load, under pressure, when you get into those higher capacities, for instance, this hook, which is a 22 ton, 44,000 pound capacity. So you can imagine getting some big stuff when you get into those. And this is actually a domestic inch and a half CM swivel eye hook. That's 22 ton capacity. And as you go down to, you'll notice the other option is a swivel. So this is actually a swivel slip hook is known, or a swivel hoist hook. And then you get into a swivel self-locking hook. And this has a little latch on it that opens up, put it in there, and when you lock it in, it will not unlock unless you hit that latch there. These also come with bearing loaded if you want them, or just regular. So this particular one is uh, an Italian-made hook. 
that uh, is good for 22,000 pounds. Um, and these are, these are gray 100. Um, so sometimes you'll see there's, uh, when it comes to hooks, typically the, the grade of the hook, so if it's a grade 100 hook, you know from, from 5 16 3 8 to half inch what those working load sizes are. Now the difference is when you go to some other hooks, like a standard swivel hoist hook, a lot of times those will be rated and they'll actually have the rating on them, which for instance, this one is a five ton swivel eye hoist hook. And the, the difference is just on the, the, the grade of these hooks and how they're used throughout the industry on how they're rated. The, uh, you'll also get into some other different varieties of hooks. This one's called a sorting hook. And the way this one is rated, it's got its rating on here at two tons and it's actually rated for the actual uh, point of the hook. And so if you come in and lift something up this way, you know that that is rated for the 4,000 pounds that you want. Another option that you can get into is sometimes you'll actually run into an application where you need an eye type grab hook that they'll put what's called a hammer lock on there. And your hammer lock, come over here to the nice board I got, your hammer lock can actually go onto chain and then hook to the hook. And this has to do with different applications. Maybe it might be a, a source thing where we, you know, these are out of, out of stock on the clevis side, so we need to use the eye type. Um, that's mainly what you see on those, those eye grab hooks. Sometimes they're used for shortening legs on uh, a two-way or a single leg chain sling or a four-way chain sling. Um, just like this hook, which is known as a eye clevis shortening hook. And what these are designed to do is on your single leg or your two-way or your four-way chain sling, you'll actually save room by having the chain go right directly under and then if say it's a 20 foot long leg and you wanna adjust it, you just bring that chain back up and make it the length you want and it still holds the working load that this setup will have. So any questions you guys might have, I know I didn't go over every type of hook out there, every type of setup out there, but uh, we're open for any questions, any type of rigging questions. We do have a, uh, link on our website on cumberlandsales.com main page that is called viewer's guide rigger's guide and the rigger's guide will actually show you all the different ways you can set these things up what the angle working loads are uh, what the safety factors are all the stuff you want to know in the field again guys thanks for taking your time watching this video today i hope you learned something new about hooks how they work where they go how they are put together uh, you know, again, you can always go to CumberlandSalesCompany.com and view more about these hooks. Any questions you have, please reach out, call us, anything you need, any type of picks you want to pick up, uh, we can help rig that and get you the right hooks and get you the right setup. Uh, so please don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, look forward to see you guys on the next round.